everybody, it's Eugene and today we're going to be doing a very quick experiment. And what I'm going to do is I am going to use the LiDAR sensor and Recon 3D and I'm going to be changing the sensor's position relative to the ground. And so what I'm trying to determine is what kind of data am I going to get if the sensor is not perpendicular to the surface that it's scanning. So if I had a wall in front of me and I turn this perpendicular, that's the best way to project the pattern on a surface and to recover uh, information or depth information. But if, I'm have, if I have the ground here in front of me and I point this this way, so now it's parallel with the ground, well, that doesn't help me all that much. So I haven't done this before, but it's something that I've sort of seen in the scans that I've been doing and I wanna experiment with it. So what we're gonna do is three passes. We're gonna do one where I'm just gonna walk straight down this uh, parking lot here and I'm gonna have the sensor up basically like this 90 degrees parallel with the ground and we're gonna see what that gives on the next one I'm gonna change this I'm gonna rotate it about 45 degrees down and I'm just gonna walk with the sensor down about 45 degrees and then on the very last one what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scan with this uh, facing straight down so it's perpendicular to the ground and then we'll see what kind of data we get from there so first things first let me start a project and I'm going to call this, uh, I'll call this uh, 90 degrees. So this is going to be 90 degrees. Well, not actually, I'm going to call it zero degrees. It's going to be zero degrees and I'll do it to the ground. So this is where it's parallel like that. So I'll just go ahead and create. I'm just going to use the five millimeter setting. No big deal. Save. And I'm going to turn around and I'm just going to walk down here. And you'll see I'm just going to hold it straight up like this. And so I can scan this way. So and I'll just walk, I don't know, maybe 20 steps or so. So here we go. I'm going to hold it up a bit higher and hit go. Okay, so it looks like it's scanning now, and I'm just gonna go here like this. And I'm gonna stop here in just a moment. So just about this far up to about this truck, and I'm gonna stop. Boom, good. So I'm gonna save that for later because we'll process it later. Now let me come back here. So now I'll show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tilt this down a little bit. So I'm gonna take the uh, adapter, I'm gonna loosen this a bit, and I'm gonna point it up about 45 degrees so it's not exactly but tighten it up there that's about 45 degrees to me looks good so I'm gonna create a new project and uh, oh, let me go back here I'm gonna go new project and we're gonna call this one 45 why not create use the same settings and now I'm gonna do the same thing I'm just gonna hold this up high and I'm gonna hit record okay I'm gonna hold like that and I'm just gonna walk until about the same spot. So now having, ha not having done this before, I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna get, but I have a sense that if the data is more perpendicular, if the sensor is more perpendicular to the ground, I should get a slightly better result. So I'm gonna save this one for later. Okay, and for this one, actually what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna extend the pole a little bit and I'm gonna hold I'm gonna hold it so that it's kind of like this. Like that. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hold it up like this and that's about 90 degrees and I'll be out of the way so it doesn't see my feet or anything like that. So let me go ahead and make a new scan. I'll call this one 90. Okay, and oh, can't do that, hold on a second. I'm gonna call this one 90 degrees, 90D, why not? Okay, and I'm gonna go save scan settings and let me try this one so i'm going to have it down point it down to the ground let me hit record it's recording so i'm just going to come up here like this and i'm just going to walk a little bit about this far and that's good enough for me so i'm going to bring this down and i am going to stop it okay so i'm going to save that for later so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna process these all on the cloud and then I will go to my computer. I'm gonna download the data and then we're gonna bring them into Cloud Compare. And we'll just do a quick analysis looking at all three point clouds, the one at zero, one at 45, one at 90, and we'll see what the data looks like. Hopefully uh, we'll see some kind of a trend or we'll see a benefit of being perpendicular to the ground. So we'll see you in a bit. Okay, folks, well, we're back at the computer here and all three scans have processed and what I've done is I've imported them into Cloud Compare. 
So I'll start one by one here. So on the right, this is the scan that I did at zero degrees. So basically I was walking with the sensor uh, parallel to the ground. And so you can see that I have, well, a couple things that we can notice. First, the color is different, right? And so the exposure that it's getting from looking straight ahead versus down at the ground is going to be a little different. So you can see it's a little bit darker than the other two that are beside me. Also, I've caught a much smaller area. So you, I don't have as much data on the ground as I do on these other two. And if I zoom in, you'll see that I have these streaks. I've got sort of these uh, noisy, so I just call them streaks or artifacts or whatever. But you get the idea here. There's sort of these lines uh, that just doesn't look clean. And so you know, I'm not exactly sure what that is, if that's part of the just the, the images from the photogrammetry that are overlapping. But let me make this a little bit bigger so I can get in closer and see. But yeah, you can get the idea. Um, it's not the best solution here. And I got a lot of these stray points that were out in the distance. Now, if I go to the 45 degree one that's right in the middle here, um, you see that I cut a, a fairly wide area uh, being at 45 degrees. And if I get in, it looks a little bit better. So if I sort of scroll down, but I still get these patches here that are, um, well, just a little bit of noise or something that's going on. And especially on the edges of the scan. So you'll see that I've got a bit of noise here. Uh, on the edge. So it doesn't look all that clean, but I think it looks okay. Like in the center, it's definitely an improvement uh, in the color and the quality of what I've got over here. This wasn't too bad, but I think this looks a little bit cleaner. And if we go over to the 90 degrees, now the 90 degree, you can see this is where I've, I've got the sensor pointed straight down at the uh, asphalt. And if I get in, you'll see that it looks much cleaner. If I go uh, over here to the 45, you can see this looks like a mess. And if I move over, right, much, much cleaner, better data, uh, not as much of these artifacts and, and that sort of thing going on. So I think uh, without getting too technical here, uh, this makes a strong case for ensuring that the sensor is at 90 degrees to the surface that you're scanning. And so obviously here I, I just did the ground, which is really simple, but you can find yourself in an environment where you have a lot of different surfaces. And a car is a really typical example because you get curved surfaces, you've got vertical surfaces, horizontal surfaces. And so you got to kind of make sure that the sensor is always moving around and trying to get perpendicular to all of those surfaces. And um, so sometimes Sometimes that can be tricky and sometimes if you forget then you may be missing some data or what you might find as you start getting something like this you get a little bit of noise so quick experiment hopefully prove the point thanks a lot folks and we'll see you next time bye bye